It's your responsibility to protect the smaller states. That's the charge made by Ghana's President David Granger while addressing the United Nations UN General Assembly in New York on Monday. Ghana is a small state. Ghana is a new state. Ghana is a product of the post-World War II promise of peace. Ghana is a child of the United Nations. Ghana will, eight months from now, on the 26th of May 2016, mark the 50th anniversary of its independence. But for 50 years, Mr. President, our small country has been prevented from fully exploiting our rich natural resources. Venezuela has threatened and deterred investors and frustrated our economic development. For 50 years, our territorial integrity has been violated by Venezuela, which has occupied a part of our territory. The most recent incident being on the 10th of October 2013, when Venezuela sent a naval corvette into our maritime zone and expelled a peaceful petroleum exploration vessel, which was conducting seismic surveys. For 50 years, Venezuela has promulgated spurious decrees claiming our territory, the most recent being on the, May, on the 26th of May, our independence anniversary, when it issued decree number 1787 with specified coordinates purporting to annex almost our entire maritime zone. That decree constituted a reassertion of its claim to five of Guyana's ten regions. Guyana re rejects the threats and claims by Venezuela which are in defiance of international law. Guyana resists Venezuela's acts of aggression in defiance of the Charter of the United Nations, which prescribes the peaceful settlement of disputes and proscribes the use of armed force. In his speech, President Granger criticized Venezuela's leader Nicolas Maduro and his predecessors. The Ghanese president accused a long line of Venezuelan leaders of trying to unsettle an already settled border, a matter that was settled by a tribunal appointed by the United Kingdom and Venezuela in 1897. The tribunal issues its award on the 3rd of October 1899 giving Venezuela 13,000 square kilometers of our territory, an area bigger than Jamaica or Lebanon. Venezuela was bound on international law to respect that award, which it did for the subsequent ten, six decades. Venezuela, however, at the onset of Guyana's independence, resorted to various stratagems to deprive Guyana of its territory. There has been a series of acts of aggression by presidents of Venezuela against my country from the time of President Raul Leone Otero's decree, number 1152 of the 15th of June, 1968, to the time of President Nicolás Maduro Moros decree of the 26th of May, 2015. Venezuela, more than four times the size of Guyana, with armed forces, that are more than 40 times the size of, the Guyana, of Guyana's defense force. Mindful of its superior wealth and military strength, but unmindful of its obligation as a member state of the United Nations, as a member state of the Union of South American Nations, and as a member state of the Organization of American States, Venezuela has pursued a path of intimidation and aggression. Venezuela is unsettling a settled border it is destabilizing a stable region of the globe by the use of armed force against a peaceful small state. Meanwhile, President Granger implored the United Nations to make a real change. He urged the Council to take legal action to rectify not only the Ghana-Venezuela border dispute, but also prevent any similar acts of aggression towards smaller states. We thank the United Nations and the Secretary General for appointing various good officers to help to resolve this controversy over the past 25 years. We feel, however, that this process has now been exhausted. Guyana does not wish that this obnoxious territorial claim should obscure the prospects of peace and obstruct the possible growth of our country for the next 50 years. We need a permanent solution in order to avoid the fate of perpetual peril and penury. Ghana seeks a juridical settlement to this controversy. We want to bring an end to Venezuelan aggression. 
We want to develop our country, all of our country, in accordance with international law. Guyana, therefore, calls upon the United Nations to give real meaning to Resolution A-RES-49-31 of May 9, 1994 by establishing a collective security system, not merely to monitor, but more important, to maintain the security of small states. This resolution, as I said before, is a manifesto for small state security. Mr. President, the United Nations remains our best hope. The United Nations is our best prospect of peace. The United Nations is our best assurance of security for small states. Still on the border dispute between Venezuela and Guyana, President Nicolas Maduro took the United Nations UN General Assembly stage on Tuesday. He did not speak directly on the border dispute. Instead, he gave an explanation for the deployment of over 200 troops near the Venezuelan border recently. He says that the troops are part of his country's plans to stem the drug trafficking trade. Early last week, Ghana had expressed concern over an increased number of Venezuelan armed forces near to its disputed territory in the Essequibo region. The government remained adamant that they did not think it was an invasion. However, they readied their own forces to show that they cannot be intimidated. Both countries are claiming ownership over an oil-rich portion of the Essequibo. The area measures 40% of Ghana's territory. And we'll have more on President Maduro's speech in our subsequent newscast.